दोस्तों फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू बैक टू माय यूट्यूब स्टूडियो गोविंद नारायण पुरोहित एंड आई एक्सटेंड माय सिंसियर थैंक्स टू ऑल दोज हु हैव सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल एंड इफ यू हैव नॉट ऑलरेडी सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल काइंडली डू सब्सक्राइब टू इट सो दैट यू रिसीव आवर वीडियोज वेरी फास्ट एंड फ्रेंड्स इन आवर टू डेज टॉपिक we discuss something about the semen and its composition in the male domestic animals friends i am professor gn purohit the head department of veterinary gynecology and obstetrics college of veterinary and animal science bikaner rajasthan india and our to in our today's topic we discuss something about the semen and its composition the topic one would be semen and its components topic 2 spermatozoa and its morphology and functions of parts of the spermatozoa topic 3 the sperm metabolism topic 4 constituents of the seminal plasma so let us start so first we talk about the semen and its composition semen is a grayish white bodily fluid that is secreted by the gonads of the male animals during the process of ejaculation the semen has two components the cellular components the spermatozoa and the liquid component the seminal plasma the fraction of the semen made up by spermatozoa is known as the spermatocrit and ranges from more than 30% in sheep to less than 2% in pigs <clears throat> so these are the components of the semen semen is made up of water the spermatozoa and the substrate like fructose sorbitol inositol glycerol phosphatidylcholine citric acid and inorganic salts like sodium potassium calcium magnesium chloride and of course the proteins the spermatozoa the animals produce motile sperm with a tail known as a flagellum and collectively this is known as the spermatozoa while some rat algae and fungi produce non motile sperm cells known as the spermatia the spermatozoa mature spermatozoa consists of a head neck and a tail the sperm head is ovoid to spatulate in most domestic animals whereas it is hook like in rodents it is covered with a cap the acrosome and contains the nuclear dna the head is continued by the neck midpiece and tail the midpiece consists of a helix of mitochondria with central two and surrounding nine fibers which extend into the tail so these are the spermatozoa from uh, different animal species you can see here this is the head this is the tail and this is the neck the mid piece the principal piece and the end piece the this is the uh, dimensions of the spermatozoa in different species amongst mammals mouse has the longest spermatozoa 125 micron in length whereas the spermatozoa of an elephant is 56 micron in length the sperm head it is com uh, composed of a nucleus composed of densely packed chromatin it has a apical body the plasma membrane it is covered with a plasma acrosome which is covered by plasma membrane and then there is the subacrosomal cytoskeleton these are the equatorial segments and this is the post acrosomal dense lamina this is the basal plate this is the capitulum and this is the proximal centriole this from here starts the mid piece of the tail with the mitochondria so this is the connecting piece and the acrosome covers 2/3 of the nucleus and is divided into apical main and equatorial segments the cap like structure of acrosome contains acrosin hyaluronidase which helps in uh, burrowing through the cumulus cells of the oocyte during fertilization the neck is between the head and the first mitochondrial spiral of mid piece now what are the functions of the sperm head the head of the sperm contains the dna which when penetrates the oocyte dna will result in fertilization and production of a zygote the tip of the sperm head is the portion called the acrosome The acrosome contains digestive enzymes, including hyaluronidase and acrosin, which enables the sperm to penetrate the female gamete, the oocyte. 
The sperm neck, also known as the connecting piece, it contains centrioles that form the cilium, also known as the flagellum of the sperm. And after fertilization, forms the major microtubule organizing center of the zygote. The sperm neck or the tail, depending on the species, also contains the mitochondria that are used as an energy source. In this picture, you can see this is the acrosome, the nucleus of the sperm, the neck, the proximal centriole and the distal centriole. This is the middle piece containing the axial filament and uh, this is the filament sheath, this is the tail. The sperm tail or flagellum has a middle piece, principal piece and an end piece. In these pictures you can uh, again see the parts of the spermatozoa. The mammalian sperm tail has a axoneme and mitochondrial sheath outer dense fibers and a fibrous sheath. The axoneme is a microtubule based structure of nine outer doublet microtubules and two central doublets making the structure as 9.2 9 plus 2. Here you can see these are the two uh, microtubules and these are doublets of nine microtubules. The uh, microtubules are associated with radial spokes. Uh, these are the spokes and dynein arms. Uh, these are the dynein arms. The protein dynein arms with necks and links within the exoneme provide the motor apparatus for the movement of the sperm tail. These extend throughout the length of the tail. You can see the uh, picture of the exoneme in the middle piece and in the principal piece. The outer dense fibers are cytoskeletal structures that surround the exoneme in the middle piece and principal piece of the sperm tail. The fibers function in maintaining the elastic structure and recoil of the sperm tail as well as in protecting the tail from shear forces during epididymal transport and ejaculation. Uh, here you can see the uh, structure of the dense fibers and uh, the microtubules. These are the dynein arms and this is the longitudinal columns of the fibrous sheet. So these are the parts of the mid piece and then principal piece and the end piece. The helically arranged mitochondrial sheet surrounds the outer dense fibers in the mid piece whereas only the fibrous sheet surrounds the outer dense fibers in the principal piece. You can see here this is the annulus. The fibrous sheath of helix, coarse outer fibers, longitudinal elements and the axoneme having the doublets, nine doublets plus two central fibers. Due to termination of the mitochondrial helix in the mid piece, the diameter of the tail in the principal piece is reduced. The principal piece is characterized by the presence of fibrous sheath which provides stability for the contractile elements of the tail. The end piece of the sperm tail contains only the axoneme surrounded by the plasma membrane. Then sperm tail function and motility of the sperm. The sperm tail function to provide motility to the spermatozoa. The mitochondrial helix of the mid piece generate energy in the form of ATP which is used for sperm locomotion. The inner mitochondrial membrane is the site of energy production. The elongated mitochondrial helix surround approximately 80% of the mid piece. There is a wide range of variation among mammals in the length of mid piece and in the number of mitochondria present. The laminated columns of mid piece give neck region flexibility allowing for lateral movement from side to side during flagellar beating. To provide energy for motility, the sperm must metabolize. The anaerobic metabolism occurs through glycolysis whereas the aerobic metabolism occurs through the TCA cycle. Sperm metabolism occurs through a series of enzymatic processes. They produce products that can enter glycolysis to enter TCA cycle to produce ATP. Both fructose and glucose can be utilized during sperm metabolism. The ATP is used for sperm motility. Some ATP is wasted in sperm metabolism by substrate cycling glucose 6-phosphate to glucose. So here is the picture showing the sperm metabolism. The glucose uh, is converted to glucose 6-phosphate because of hexokinase is converted to fructose 6-phosphate, lactate 2-ATP plus had, uh, water molecules. 
then fatty acids they also enter the tribox uh, tricarboxylic acid this produces 36 atp from glucose and 36 atp from fructose by the aerobic metabolism and this is the anaerobic metabolism then what is the microtubule sliding in sperm tail the uh, metabolic sli uh, microtubule sliding occurs as a result of sliding of the microtubules derived from the atp derived from atpase the dining arm attaches in the uh, detaches in the presence of atp and shortens once that energy is made the dining arm tilts and elongates to attach to a lower side and then shortens and returns to its original position this generates the sliding forces that move the tail in a helical direction you can see in this picture the sperm metabolism is temperature dependent atp production increases as temperature increases atp dependent processes are temperature dependent motility increases with increasing temperature up to certain limits so here you can see the effects of temperature on the motility of the spermatozoa up to 40 to 43 i must say degree centigrade the uh, sperm motility would increase now the chemical constituents of the sperm the main chemical constituents of spermatozoa are deoxyribonucleoprotein in the sperm nucleus protein bound mucopolysaccharide in the acrosome phospholipid in the middle piece and tail and keratin like pr proteins which compose the sperm membrane and fibrils and a variety of enzymes and coenzymes which control the motility and metabolic activity of the sperm now we talk about the constituents of seminal plasma seminal plasma is comprised of carbohydrates one of the most remarkable features of semen is that the predominant reducing sugar is not glucose as in blood but is fructose small amounts of glucose are also present and boar semen in particular contain large concentrations of inositol but less fructose than semen from bulls or rams inositol acts as a osmotic regulator in bull seminal plasma stallion semen also contains inositol and lower concentrations of fructose and other compounds of inositol are also present in some species fructose in bulls and rams originates from the seminal vesicles with some from the ampulla but in the stallion most comes from the ampulla inositol is secreted in the seminal vesicles fructose is absent in the dog both fructose and glucose can be utilized by sperm either by oxidation or glycolysis although the michaels constant for glucose is much lower than for fructose the mitochondria in which oxidative phosphorylation occurs are arranged as a helix around the mid piece of the sperm whereas glycolytic enzymes are concentrated in the principal piece of the tail while some are bound to the fibrous sheath of the flagellum however it is unlikely that glycolysis alone could generate atp for bull mot full motility and while diffusion from the mitochondria may be in may be sufficient in smaller sperm in larger sperm it is likely that an adenylate kinase shuttle is involved in moving atp from the mitochondria to the flagellum there is evidence for the occurrence in sperm of specific glucose transport uh, transporters that can transport both glucose and fructose proteins amino acids and other nitrogen containing compounds are also present in the seminal plasma the seminal plasma contains a variety of proteins and peptides the total concentration being somewhat less than that in blood plasma seminal plasma proteins are derived from the epididymis and the accessory glands and are involved in several essential steps preceding fertilization including capacitation establishment of the oviductal sperm reservoir modulation of the uterine immune response sperm transport in the female tract and gamete interaction and fusion seminal plasma also contains considerable concentrations of free amino acids particularly glutamic acid in ram and bull semen there are also appreciable concentrations of carnitine in the seminal plasma of rams bulls and stallions this substance is involved in fatty acid support in other tissues but also present in semen is largely derived from the epididymis boar semen also contains ergothioneine the betaine of thiohistidine a sulfur containing reducing base which comes mainly from the seminal vesicle it is also present in stallion semen 
but in this species it originates largely from the ampulla semen and seminal plasma from rams bulls goats boars and stallions were found to contain considerable amounts of glycerophosphoryl choline which originates largely from the epididymis as well as glyceryl uh, phosphoryl inositol semen contains considerable amounts of lipid both neutral lipids and phospholipids most of which is in the spermatozoa in ram semen the most abundant phospholipid is choline plasmalogen also known as phosphatidyl choline whereas in boars it is lecithin also known as phosphatidyl choline and in bull sperm the two phospholipids are present in approximately equal amounts one remarkable feature of these phospholipids is their high concentration of unsaturated fatty acids 22 carbons in length with six double bonds in rams and bulls and five double bonds in boars these constituent fatty acids are particularly susceptible to damage from reactive oxygen species the phospholipids may also be important precursors of platelet activating factor which is probably involved in sperm motility the acrosome reaction and fertilization and which is found in bull and boar sperm the seminal plasma from bulls and stallions contain an acetyl hydrolase which may play a role in regulating autocrine or paracrine functions the semen also contains appreciable concentrations of steroids in bull semen the concentration of several steroids including progesterone dihydrotestosterone androstenediols and estrogens are much higher than in blood plasma the estrogens appear to come from the prostate whereas the other steroids originate from the epididymis testosterone is present in seminal plasma at about the same concentrations as in blood plasma much less than in the rat testes fluid leaving the testes so this chart shows the uh, semen dry weight pH, specific gravity, and all other things in different animals. So you can contact me at my email gnpobs at the rate gmail dot com. This is my LinkedIn link, and this is my YouTube channel link. Kindly do uh, uh, view the video completely. Give your comments, suggestions, likes, and share and subscribe to my channel. Govind Narayan Purohit if you like them thank you thank you so much